Hi guys, I'm here with Tim Cheshire from Hello. the Trust. Hey y'all, we are here representing Refuel. Um, this year is our fourth year going into 2020. We are super excited. The youth four, four, I, can't I know, believe it's four, four years. years. Wow. It's so exciting. It's amazing. It is exciting. I was this small last year. <laughs> 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 so, so far Tim, you've been with us these past four years. Yeah. What has been your highlight of Refuel Youth? Uh, I mean, obviously, it's in a, it's in the, it's just in a beautiful location. Like we do a lot of this stuff, but really, the, this is far and away the most beautiful place that we go in the year. It's so lovely. Um, with the youth, I think it's been we kind of came into it year one. It was brand new. We weren't really sure what was going to happen. I think we've just been really pleasantly surprised at how how God has just really kind of turned up in the meetings that we've had. We're going into year four, we feel like we've really got to know a lot of these kids. They come back year after year, it's a really beautiful thing. But during the morning and the, and the evening meetings, those actual times when we're gathering together, there's a lot of other crazy stuff goes on through the day and it's loads of fun. But during those times have been so precious. Just the, the worship, seeing kids really kind of go through that process of just feeling really free just to express themselves, enter into the presence of God. And as a result of that, just really see God clearly, clearly speaking to them, you know, moving in their lives, releasing them from things, taking them on further in their faith. It's just been a beautiful thing. It's been one of my highlights as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Just experiencing what the youth are seeing, like mm -hmm. seeing them on their knees, yeah, worshiping God. It's just so beautiful. It is. It's a real privilege, really. Just, just to be part of it. Yeah. yeah, it is. So, are you excited for this next year? Is there anything new that you've got up in the pipeline? Yeah, for yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some really good new stuff coming up. So, one thing we're doing is something called the Refuel Academy. So, young people that come along this year, uh, they will get an opportunity to sign up to be in the Refuel Academy, and it will be a year's worth of uh, Bible teaching, Bible exploration, um, and just helping these young people really get into the words and have a year's worth of that. It'll be 12 pretty simple modules. Um, by the end of it, they will have a much greater understanding of just the, the ins and outs of the Bible. Um, we're gonna do uh, a national and an international missions trip. So the, the national one will, will most likely be connected to the message. Um, and we'll, we'll be, there'll be an opportunity for one time in the year for young people to come and work with us at the message and it will be proper grassroots front line in your face out on the streets yeah. you know sharing your face it's gonna be great get on the bus <laughs> get on the bus all that sort of stuff but it'll be challenging yeah um everything we do this year is it's about pushing them a little bit pushing them further we don't want to we don't want to model coddle no. them wrap them up in cotton wool we, we want to give them an opportunity to really step out in faith and we want to challenge them to go further. And then an international mission trip. So I'm connected to um, an organization that do a lot of work in Central and Eastern Europe. Um, so there's 16 different Central and Eastern European countries. So we're gonna pick one of those countries and we're gonna set up a mission trip. Um, and it will be helping to, helping to run uh, an evangelistic camp for their peers, for teenagers in the country where we go. And I've been on many of these camps, they're amazing. But again, it's going to be really challenging. It's going to be pushing them. They're going to be serving. It's not a holiday. They're going to be serving. Yeah. And they'll be serving the young people in that country and helping the local church that organise it, helping those guys to uh, run this camp, which ultimately is going to help lead these um, uh, local kids uh, into a greater understanding of, of, of the Christian faith. And there'll be an opportunity for those local kids to respond to the gospel yeah. and it'll be amazing so I would say those are the key those are the key things uh, the academy yeah. and two mission strips that sounds wonderful it's really taking the great commission and equipping the young people to, yeah. Yeah. to really go out to the ends of the earth yeah. and deliver the message yeah. we, um, want, we want to equip them but we also want to give them an opportunity to actually get out and yeah. do stuff yeah. Yeah. what we want refuel to be for these young people is the culmination of a year's worth of growing in Christ if we want that to happen, we want to help the local churches that they're part of, and also, more than that, we want to help provide opportunities and ways that they can experience things through the year, 
so that it's not a kind of shot in the arm, but it's yeah. a real celebration of everything yeah. that's gone on over the, over the previous 12 months. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. It makes perfect sense. And that's it's what we so do. Right. We learn by doing, and we yeah. really need to get that experience of going out and doing. Absolutely. Where we're not surrounded by the bubble wrap, yeah. we're not surrounded by our parents, that's we right. are on the field, and the field is everything as well. Yeah. So, Thank you so much for talking to no us. Worries, no I worries. think you've pretty much said everything we need to know. There, yes. I can't think of another reason why you should come to the field. Really, just come. Come and see for yourself. Come and taste. See that it's good. We love God and we really just want to share that. Yeah, and if you're a young person and you, you're in a place where you, you, you want to have a good week but you want to really be challenged in your faith, if you want an opportunity to go further, if you're looking for an opportunity to, to do something that, that is risky and dangerous and is going to involve stepping out of your comfort zone, come and be with us for a week because we'll, we'll help you out. We'll help you out. We'll be challenging everybody yeah. this year.